Hello class 9th. Today we will be doing Moments Chapter 1 The Lost Child from your supplementary book. I will be telling you the whole summary of the story. The Lost Child is written by Mulkraj Anand. He was an Indian author. He wrote and focused about the lives of poor section of the society. His main and famous works are Cooley and Untouchable. The story goes around a fair. Before starting up, I would like to tell you the main characters of the story. The, the lost child, the parents and the man who finds the boy. It is a story about a little boy and his parents who are on their way to a spring fair in the village. The author describes the scene on the little lane leading to the fair as full of people, all turned out in colourful clothes and looking gay. The boy is happy and he walks between the long strides of his father. His attention is diverted by particularly all that he sees along the road. He sees the colourful toys and wants to buy them. But his father gives him a cold stare. As he stops to gaze at them, he gets left behind. Each time he does so, the parents have to stop and call him to join them. The mother then tries to divert the boy's attention by pointing to the sowing mustard fields. His attention is caught by the dragonflies and bees. He begins to chase them and again he gets left behind. Soon he is called back. Finally, they reach the village where the fair is organized. The little boy is surprised and confused at seeing the big crowd, all converging towards the fair. He is fascinated by the color and variety of the shops. He sees shops selling sweetmeats, toys, etc. He also sees balloon vendors, garland and flower sellers, a snake charmer and people riding on a merry-go-round. He wants everything but then he knows his parents won't buy anything. But when he sees the people on the merry-go-round enjoying themselves, he pleads his parents to allow him to have a ride. When he goes, when he does not get a reply, he turns around and realizes that his parents are nowhere to be seen. The little child forgets everything and starts crying and shouts for his parents. He is scared to find himself alone. He is panicked. He runs here and there to look for them. In this process, his turban comes out and his clothes get dirty. By now, he reaches a temple where he sees a big crowd of people. He makes his way between the legs of the people. There is so much commotion that he is almost trampled under the feet of the milling crowd. He screams out for his parents at the top of the voice. A kind man hears the sound of the crying child and comes out and lifts him up. He asks him about his parents but the child only cries asking for his mother and father. The man tries various tricks to pacify the child and takes him through all the shops that the boy had seen earlier and had wanted to buy 
their ways. Now the boy is not interested in anything. He keeps saying, I want my mother, I want my father. Through the story, the writer has tried to tell us that a child's most precious and treasure are his parents. This realization comes to him only after he loses them in the fair. That's all children. You are going to go through the chapter thoroughly.